you spent a lot of the offseason rehabbing an injury, and then you missed six games this past month on uh, the sideline. How difficult was it for you to uh, watch games from the sideline, and how rewarding is it to be back? Yeah, it was definitely not what I expected for um, this season, but I think it gave me a different perspective, and I was able to help the girls on defense on the sideline. I was able to see different perspectives that they maybe weren't seeing. Um, on the field, so I had like an iPad on the sideline. I was able to show the girls coming off the field, showing what happened, help the girls on the field. So it was definitely difficult, but I think I still tried to make myself a part of the defense while being sidelined. Sammy, what has this past month been like for you? Yeah, um, it's been a lot of rest and a lot of ice. Um, just not a lot of things that I could really do to help it heal. It kind of just took a lot of rest. Um, it definitely had its ups and downs, but I'm really happy to be back now. And you guys, uh, the starting defensive unit, pitched a very solid display against a very uh, threatening attacking option in Cass Cassie Spillis. What, what, how did you guys prepare for her, and how do you think you did against her? Yeah, I think we just played as a, a unit. I think we had each other's backs a lot. We were sliding with body. We were crashing. We were communicating well. I just think we really came out to play tonight. I mean, What's better than a night game on a Saturday in the Ryan Fieldhouse? So I just think we were all ready, we were prepared, and we just had a lot of fun today. And you mentioned that the recovery was a lot of rest. How are you going to balance keeping that injury rested up and right when you're also trying to get ready for the postseason? Yeah, I think just making sure after I play a game, practice anything, I'm taking care of it, icing it, making sure that it's feeling good, keep doing rehab on it to make sure I strengthen that um, part of my foot and just make sure that it doesn't flare up again. And next up for you guys is a game against Maryland. Right now they're ranked number one, but uh, who knows what it will be at the end of uh, tomorrow and Monday. Is there any extra motivation going back to play in your home state? Yeah, I love it. They're always a great uh, competition. They're always a very like hard team to play, and I'm really excited to have a lot of people from back home come and watch me play, and I'm really excited to just play a good team and uh, be challenged on the field and um, I think just playing at Maryland is always a fun challenge so I'm just really excited to do that. And when did you know you were going to be back and playing today? Um, I think I knew on Thursday that I was able to actually play in the game. I was cleared by the doctors a little while ago. Um, but just making sure that my heart rate and my load was good enough for me to be able to play in an actual game so that I don't hurt something else um, playing in this game tonight. Did you feel rusty at all stepping on the field for the first time in a month? No, um, I've been practicing and just doing stuff on the sideline to get myself back. Um, there's obviously some things that I wish I could have done better, um, but I think that's every game for me. Um, I always want to be perfect. You never can be. Um, but I'm just excited that I got to play out there today since I've missed it for a month. And it was a really great opportunity to play with my um, teammates again tonight. How do you see some of the younger players that were able to step into bigger roles with you on the sideline? How do you think they performed in your absence? Yeah, I think they did awesome. I think everyone really took that absence and just like raised their um, effort levels and they just really like came to play. I think we had like Catherine Welsh go in, uh, Noel Cumberland, like they all just stepped up their energy and just like was like, this is my time, this is my opportunity, I'm going to take it. And then it feels like the defense is starting to kind of coalesce into form, especially as the stretch run hits, a lot of turnovers for today. What do you think you guys need to do to keep that up? Yeah, I think just continue to play together. I think we did a really good job of playing together and communicating with each other and having each other's backs. I think that's a big thing um, going into the postseason and just like the late games. I think um, we want to be the strongest defense we can be and without having each other's backs and talking with each other and having like helping each other out um, and just like owning like responsibilities I think that's really a big key for us moving forward. And the defensive player that played a big role for you guys today as she has all season was Jane Hansen. Obviously in her development a player who played a lot off the bench last season but now she's an out and out starter uh, causing turnovers and wreaking havoc for uh, opposing attacks every game. Yeah I think Jane just has no fear she just goes and she plays and it's awesome to watch she's such a fun player to play with. Um, she's so good at the back check and she just goes out and plays uh, fearless and I just love watching her play and it's, it's been amazing watching her recover from her ACL and just continue to turn into an amazing defender. Coach, you guys spoke um, prior to this game about the competitiveness and physicality of the Big Ten. 
how did you adjust to handling that today against Rutgers? I mean, I think our schedule up until this point, you know, has been extremely difficult. And anytime you play a difficult schedule, you you know, you're always going to have pressure on you from, you know, all kinds of different styles of play. So I think that that is why we play a great schedule, and hopefully that helps us prepare for our Big Ten play, which is uh, the most challenging. And, and um, you know, our conference is just amazing top to bottom, and every time we play some in, it's a challenge for sure. And Coach, you mentioned a few weeks back how Sammy was attacking her rehab and taking, taking the recovery seriously. Now that she's back, how important is it for you guys in a very competitive conference slate to have her back uh, toward the decisive end? Yeah, I mean, anytime you can get, um, you know, someone back that's got so much experience like Sammy and has played in big moments, um, it, it is a true asset. And I think that in her absence, we've had a lot of great players step up. So I feel like that has helped us create depth, um, you know, amongst the defensive unit. And we can turn to a lot of different players. We have a lot of weapons down there and so we're excited to welcome her back and continue to you know rotate people and, and get people in the mix. Coach how did you guys defend today against a high power offensive, uh, offensive weapon and attack they spell? Yeah I mean I think that um, she's just unreal to be honest like she is what a competitor um, she has incredible hands and just drives to the cage hard so um, I thought she played really well despite the pressure we were putting on her and um, just kudos to her. She's an incredible talent. And then for the defense as a whole, with Sammy back, only five goals given up in the first half, I believe. How are you feeling about the chemistry as a whole, especially as we get closer to the postseason in the stretch run? Yeah, I mean, I think we're continuing to develop our D. You know, um, there's a lot of learning coming from today, and um, we want to continue to hone in on the different styles of defense that we play. So um, tonight we played a little different, and, um, you know, I thought I thought we were able to adjust to that and play pretty well. So, and Coach, Ohio State beat uh, Penn State earlier in the week. Today, Maryland beat uh, Michigan. Seems like anyone in the conference can beat anybody. Just how, uh, how how enjoyable is it to play in a conference with so much parity and so much of a degree of uncertainty every time you step on the field? I, I think it's awesome. I mean, our conference has really, really performed well. Um, I think today, uh, Johns Hopkins had a dominant win against James Madison. Um, you know, I, I just think that top to bottom the conference is performing really well so the conference games are going to be extremely difficult and tight and um, you know that really sets us up for getting a lot of teams into the NCAA tournament which is our goal as a conference and and uh, it also just creates um, a great opportunity for you to play tough games down the stretch, which I think prepares you for when you do make the, the NCAA tournament. You're ready. You know, you've had your, your toughest competition down the end of your season. So I think it's pretty exciting uh, what's happening in the Big Ten, and I think there's a lot of parity across women's lacrosse. I think that is exciting as well, you know. Um, and, you know, hopefully our, our game continue, can continue to grow and be exciting. And coach, switching from defense to offense, the transition game seemed to be really clicking today. How important is it for you guys to make sure that's up and running now as we get to the close of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think we talked about that a little bit after our Penn State game. Um, was able to, to do some of it uh, against North Carolina and then this week we really honed in on it and yeah we want to be explosive from a lot of different angles and um, you know we have a lot of weapons coming out of the defensive end they're very good offensive type players too so um, we want to leverage everything that we have so that if we meet something and one thing's not working we can leverage the other thing so you know each week it's just about getting better and better and you know developing our game in different ways and another big game for Jane Hansen on the defensive end. She got her second straight goal on the senior day after scoring last year against Youngstown State. Uh, how have you seen her develop this season from a player who would provide a spark for you guys off the bench in the midfield and on defense to now a day-in, day-out starter on defense who's causing turnovers and wreaking havoc for opposing attacks? 
Yeah, I think last year she really found her groove towards the end of the season. She's just a a really unreal takeaway defender, um, and she's got incredible speed. Um, she has played midfield for us in in her past, and you know she she can do things all over the field. She has uh, incredible abilities, and she's really starting to believe in those abilities, which is exciting. Um, and she's just only going to get better from week to week. Coach, uh, speaking of senior day, one of your seniors today, Mary Schumar, had two, two pair of goals and three assists. It's a five-point game. Um, first off, what can you say about her performance? And secondly, since the senior day, what can you say about her impact into the program, even if she transferred in? Yeah, I think Mary, you know, what I would say about her is just resiliency. I mean, um, I think that she hadn't been getting as many runs, and I think just her work ethic is tremendous. And, you know, she just worked every day, put her head down, had a positive attitude, and just went out there. And when she got her opportunity, to really took advantage of it. So uh, it's great having her in the program. I think she's a great leader. Um, she, she has infectious energy on the field. And, you know, we're excited to see her continue to develop and make an impact in our program. What does it mean to you to be able to send off the seniors and send off this facility for the season in such an emphatic manner as you guys did today? Yeah, I mean, uh, we love the Ryan Fieldhouse. It's it's truly a, a special venue to play lacrosse. Obviously, we we love Martin Stadium too, but um, this is a, a really special place, and it was it was really fun to play in here tonight. And um, you know, I think the crowd gets so into it, and it, it really fuels our players. And then Coach, Big Ten Network was here tonight. Um, ESPNU, I believe, was on the broadcast for the Penn State game. You talked about, like, the talent in the Big Ten. What do you attribute the interest in and, like, the linear television coverage of this sport to, especially the past couple of years, as this team has gone back to the mountain top? I think... I think this sport is an incredible sport. You know, it really combines a lot of different uh, sports together, like basketball, ice hockey, soccer. I mean, there's so many different components to lacrosse, and that's why you see, you know, some of the, I think, uh, one of the players on NC State's men's lacrosse te um, men's basketball team is a lacrosse player. Uh, I think... Uh, you know, obviously we've got Pat Spencer. There's, there's, you see that crossover because the skills are so translatable. And I think that the game is so exciting because it's so high scoring. Um, the athleticism is tremendous of these young women. And I also think that you can have a lot of different types of athletes. You can have a shorter athlete, you can have a taller athlete, um, you can have a speedster, you can have someone that just is tremendous skill. So I think it brings great like diversity to our game in terms of like what people can do. And yeah, I mean, I just think it, it's exciting. It's the fastest game on two feet. And what are you expecting as you guys head into College Park next week to match up with Maryland? You know, we, we expect a great challenge. Um, they play extremely well uh, at home. Uh, they're obviously a tremendous program, so well coached. Um, and, you know, they have a lot of weapons on both ends of the field. So we expect a great challenge. It's a great rivalry, and we're really just grateful to have that opportunity.